Yo, what is molesting everyone? See you back with another video. Today we got Kingler versus Dundies uh, for Smoking on Snake Draft. Now, looking at this man's team, we have a Pump Kaboot, and I don't think you can see what version of Pump Kaboot is from preview if it's the fat one or if it's the small one. Uh, from here, it looks like the small one, but I actually don't know how this works on Smogon, or I, I mean Smogon, I mean Showdown. So we got a Bunnel Bee as well. This is uh, either Scarf or a boosting item. Scarf is definitely more common. The Z move is probably going to be on Wingle right here, and there's just going to be a Violet on these other three boys. Uh, could also be like some some tech on any of these Pokemon, but it's most likely for them to be a Violet. Now I'm done these team. My man, um, my man Gast actually looks quite annoying. So it's either gonna be Pursuit Daylight or Scarf, uh, Scarf Ponyard. Then it's just gonna be it's either gonna be uh, only Spikes on Fire Seed or Spikes plus Rocks or no Spikes if this is Scarf Ponyard. Then it's just gonna be a Wingo with either the Z move or the Daylight has the Z move. Uh, we'll have to figure that out during the game. And just gonna be a standard Spritzy and Mianfu, from what I can see. Just gonna be some, uh, just gonna be some Violet boys. So looking at team preview right here, I don't know if we even get the chance to talk about that. Obviously, uh, the the unplay here is just to go go hard Mianfu, just a brainless play. There's also a Wingle on both sides that actually puts in work on both sides. Obviously, there is a uh, there's a Tatuga right here on Kingler's side. None of these doesn't have the best counters to Wingle. That doesn't have the best checks, especially if it's Water Z. Uh, actually, I was going to say, especially if it's Water Z to blow past Pioneer, but it needs Fly Z to blow past Ferris Seed. So that doesn't really make sense. But with the Z move, it can definitely blow past either of those, depending on what Z move it has. We see Pump Kubu is a Spritzy lead. Now, this Pump Kubu is definitely the fat one, as you can see. It's just going to fire off a free Will O Wisp. As the Spritzy goes for a Moonblast, does not do any form of damage. Uh, Lowers the special attack, which kind of sucks. Now, Dunnage just has a sort of free switch in into. Uh, into Ponyard because the special attack drop. Fire Blast is not going to do too much. He can also stay in if he has a boosting move or he just wishes up. Uh, he Moon Blast. He's trying to force the Pump Crew to go s for Synthesis so he gets an absolute free switch in to something which does make sense because uh, now he can go to Wingull without risking it taking Giga Drain. Obviously, Tortuga is going to come out in here for, for I was going to say for free, but that takes a fat knockoff to the face. So that's not really that free. Now, Dunnies has a switch in to Ferris Seed right here. I assume Kingler is going to get up his rocks or fire off a knockoff. Both work. Rocks is just a bit better though. Now the Ferris Seed is back in, um, I mean back in, it's in for the first time. Kingler can go into Pump Kabo or I guess Grimer if it has some tech or Mianfu. Uh, so this rush just come up from Dundee's makes the most sense. Now Dundee's can go back to, can go back to Spritzy or to Wingle or even to Mianfu if he wants to predict the U-turn and doesn't want to take a lot of chip, that play works as well. Although that would let in the, the uh, Wingle and Wingle does a whole lot of work against Dundee's team so I guess you don't want to, don't want to let that in. He can just go, for, he can just go to Spritzy for, not free but you can just go to Spritzy. I assume Kingler's just going to fire off a knockoff here. Makes the most sense. He hits a hard HJK, so now that Spritzy is going to go for the Wish Up. If Kingler's the GOAT, he predicts that and knocks off here. He just knocks off into switching. Um, the safer play is just a U-turn out. But yeah, if like we have for each one hit, so if you really want to GOAT it up, you hit knockoff on the Wish here, because there's no way Dundee doesn't click Wish here and just lets the Spritzy get whittled down and eventually get put into range of two HJKs. There's no way you do that. So he does knock up there, makes a king play right there. That's why his man's name is Kingler. <laughs> Holy shit, that dude, that dude, that joke is a bit too bad for, even for me. But now Mianfu is just going to switch hard out. He's going to switch out into uh, the bunny if you really want to be risky and the Spritzy is in bunny range, but obviously you don't want to take a Moonblast to the face. Uh, actually, the Spritzy doesn't have a reason not to hit Moonblast. Um, yeah, never mind. I was going to say on the Protect, but this doesn't have a reason not to hit Moonblast. You just Moonblast here. So I guess you just go Grimer, it's the safest, uh, there's no real other switching that wants to come in for free. You can also go to, uh, you can also go to Pumper, Kingler predicts the, uh, Kingler predicts the Moonblast to come out, because like I said it was pretty free, but he gets kecked on by the Protect, so I don't agree with U-Turn, it's just a bit like momentum draining, um, I think a hard switch was a bit better, although this works, because you can just go to Pump Kaboo Super and it doesn't really matter. Now Dunnies can just throw up a Wish and then go to Ponyard for free, uh, unless the Will-O-Wisp comes out, obviously. Yeah, actually will o -Wisp can fuck off Ponyard. <laughs> Never mind, he can go to Wingle, I guess. Uh, I don't know if Wingle comes in on Pump Kaboo, I don't know if Pump Kaboo had Calyx, but it should be able to eat a Giga Drain plus Rocks and get Wished uh, back up. So I guess he can go out into that. Uh, yeah, I was going to say he can go to Ponyard, but he doesn't want to take a Will-O-Wisp to the face. So Kingler might just throw off a Willow Wisp here, not wanting to let Ponyard in. And if he if he gets in Wingle, I guess it doesn't really matter anyway. Or he just makes a double right here. Yeah, he makes a nice double to Grimer. As the Moonblast actually comes out from Dundee's. So this um Grimer gets put a little bit low. It's in range of two Moonblasts now after Rocks, which is cool for cool for Dundee's because this Grimer can't come in on Spritzy as easily now. I assume the knockoff is gonna get thrown off from Kingler because there's no way you're staying with your Spritzy here. You like you don't protect the scout either, because that just loses you one HP for no apparent reason. And Knockoff is just basically uh, pretty free here. Uh, I assume the Mianfu is going to come in as Kingler. <laughs> uh, Kingler agrees with that, but Dundee's doesn't. And he's like, boom, gang, whole lot of gang shit. Steals out of fire. Like, that's a god play right there. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. That's a king play. Uh, I would have clicked knockoff right there as well. So now we just hit double knockoff. Yeah, now we just hit double knockoff. But 
Damn, that's yeah, the definition of Boonk Gang. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to appeal to the youngsters, because um, Boonk is all their hero. Uh, for the people who don't know, he's like some Instagram like fake comedian. He just steals people's shit, and that's funny for some reason. Um, now, back to the game. So okay, I'm getting a bit too off topic right here. Kingler can just go to Wingle right here, but Wingle is going to take some rocks. He's going to take a shit down from any attack. He can also go to Pumpkaboo Super. I don't know if he wants to get knocked off. Uh, it does beat Mianfu, though, so it is the safest play to go to that. He can also go to Mianfu to um you can also go to Mianfu on the u-turn but i think dundee's just gonna fire off a knockoff here if kingler now wants to return the favor and make a god play he gunk shots on the knockoff right here slash u-turn because i don't think he would high jump kick when there's a pump in the back then there's also the risk of the drain punch coming just coming out from Mianfu if he packs that tech so i don't know if it's really worth the risk he just fakes out yep he just fakes out predicting grimer to stay in so that's a nice play. Kingler tries to uh, tries to return the favor of a gold play but unfortunately it gets molested now dundee's can just fire off a u-turn I guess if Kingler still wants to persist with staying in on Grimer, it should be able to eat one. It should be able to eat U-turn. Um, actually, I don't know. From that damage, I don't know if it eats U-turn. It, sh it should be able to eat U-turn. And then just fire off a, a hit onto something. Fire off a knockoff onto something or some some shit like that. Or gunk, maybe. But Pumpkaboo is also pretty safe. Um, the high jump kick comes hard in. Yeah, I was going to say, I would I would go Pumpkaboo here. Because it's just a safe play. I don't know if like Grimer can still be a nice, valuable sack later on in the game, but Kingler tries to play it risky and just gets molested by Dundies. So, <laughs> dude, Dundies is on fire today with that high jump kick when there's a pump in the back potentially to come in. So, now Dundies can switch into Ponyard if it is, um, if it is Scarf. He has to be aware, he has to be aware that Water Z is a thing and can just slam him in one. But I don't know if you would want to click Water Z here when there's just a Ferris Seed in the back just willing to switch in for free. Uh, or even a, even a Spritzy, which I don't know if because it did get the violet back, so I don't know if it's gonna be able to eat that. So Hurricane is the best play up. Spent as far as off a of Hurricane, tries to get some chip on the Pharisee. Unfortunately, this Pharisee is really well trained and rolls out of the way. Now we're just gonna see a knock. Uh, I should, yeah, I think we should see a knockoff come out right here. I think it's just the only play because this Mianfu hasn't been knocked yet, as far as I know, unless I really have it, uh, downs. I guess Spikes works as well. I think knock was just pretty nice, but yeah, Spikes does work as well. Because now we can just switch back out into Spritzy. Spritzy's going to step on a burn plus a spike plus a Armina plus a U turn plus a rock. But it should still be fine. He can also go into Mianfu here if he really wants to predict the U turn, keep up his like streak of making fire plays. The problem is that just lets him wingle, like I already said earlier. And you don't really want that, although you do want to chip away at the wingle. So I guess he could do that. He could just go to Mianfu on the U turn here. And if that play works out, the wingle comes in, but wingle's just going to get chipped away. So that's still going to be a pretty nice scenario for Dundee's. Spritzy is the safest play. Um, he can also, yeah, he can also go Mianfu. We can also go Wingle if he wants to, but that just lets him Tortuga. I guess Tortuga steps on both hazards in that case, which is pretty cool for him. And then he can just make a switch out into Pharisee again. So he has a lot of options. He does decide to go to Mianfu predicting the U-turn. Now, let's see. Kingler does decide to U-turn out, so if Kingler would have fired off a high jump kick, that would have been really great for him, but <laughs> unfortunately he does not. So the, I would assume what, the what I would assume the Wingle comes in here. He can also go to the Bunny, maybe. Uh, no, never mind. The Bunny's kind of an unplay. I think Wingle's like kind of the only play here, right? Um, then we'll see another play that would make sense. I guess he goes Pump Kaboo. I guess he could go Pump Kaboo as well. But Pump Kaboo on Pump Kaboo down, he just U-turns out in the spritz. He just stalls it out. Pump Kaboo doesn't really gain you any form of momentum. So he does decide to go out into Pump Kaboo, but this doesn't gain you any form of momentum. He U-turns you into Synthesis range. Or into range where you would like Synthesis is what I'm trying to say here. So... This is pretty annoying for Dun. Oh, this is pretty annoying for Kingler that he has the pump and he has to just let Dundee's U-turn on him into what I assume to be a Spritzy or even a Ponyard if he re want, really wants to be risky and predict the, the Will O' Wisp not come out. He could also knock off again, predicting the Will O' Wisp not to come out. But this Mianfu is actually pretty potent offensive threat still, so I don't know if you want to if you want to let this get uh, weakened like that. I think just going Spritzy and starting to fuck around with wishes is the better play because Spritzy actually has like like <laughs> like next to no counterplay on Kingler's side like it just moonblasts through his entire team moonblast chips away at his entire team nothing wants to take that attack it still has its survival like as a boom gang did from the grimer so i think you just go spritzy if you're done these although i don't know how how much hp spritzy has yeah you could also just knock off because pump kaboo is annoying but the willowist comes out i guess uh, if this is a two hit ko which i don't know if it is pump kaboo is at nah, pump kaboo should be able to eat this but, yeah, if that was a 2 hit KO, I guess just knocking this off is pretty nice. Kingler makes a nice prediction. There goes to the Will was predicting either the Ponyard to come out or the knockoff to come out. So, that's pretty nice for him. Now you can just synthesis up, assuming this eats. Uh, if it doesn't eat, I think you should still just stay in with this and try to synthesis up, even if there's just a small chance to eat. And Dundee should just knock off again as 
Doc hovers over this. I don't know why exactly. I don't know that calc exactly. The knockoff versus the pump kaboo. We saw the knockoff do 40 and he is burned. So I don't know. That might have been a roll in Kingler's favor. It, it, did, it did look like the pump kaboo was going to snag that up, but apparently not. So this match is already looking mighty over. This Wingo can just get uh, trapped. I, if it's Scarf Ponyard, from what I see here, it can just get trapped or after some mom gets sacked, but he still has his Pharisee to switch into this as well. The defaw comes out. I guess the bunny could still do it in the end game. He hurricanes to chip this away, which is a good play because you weaken it for the bunny. And now you can Z if you have it, if you're Z fly. Dundies could predict that for sure. Dundies could definitely predict that and go to go to Ponyard. But if you can remove this for the bunny, that would be huge. Because that's the only Pokemon that could really even put in work this game still and really just turn this game around for Kingler. Depending on what side it is. Mianfu is also a nice play, predicting that Ponyard. God play by Kingler right there. Covers this thing and then covers the Ponyard. Well, it doesn't cover this thing in too well, but it does cover the Ponyard. Really goat play right there. So now you can just fire off a... You can just fire off a U-turn on the Spritzy if you want to predict that. You can fire off High Jump Kick as well, but I don't think you would stay in with your Ponyard if you're Dundies. Because you still need this to trap, so Spritzy would make the most sense. So if you U-turn here, oof, momentum equals gained. So the problem is you don't really have the <laughs> counters to Spritzy if you're Kingler here. Like, Kingler does not have counters to this shit at all. He can go to Bunny, but I don't even know if that kills. If it has a boosting item, it might kill. Because I, I, everyone knows that boy's really strong. But it's still a Violet Spritzy. That boy's really fat as well. Like, just look at it. Look at how fat. Look at that. Mm. This man's been... Man, man just man just hits needs to hit the gym. Is what I'm trying to say. This man's just a bit too fat. She's gonna be able to snack up anything, uh, which yeah, that, that's just a good thing in Pokemon. Uh, this is also a tip for the Pokemon trainers in the back. Just feed your Pokemon these like Poke Puffs or whatever they're called in the games. I'm not the not an expert on in game, but the Poffins, I think that's what they call it, right? So you just feed them to your Pokemon and you just make them tank every single hit because of all their blubber. So, <laughs> dude, I don't know what I don't know what my commentaries have become, but Kingler doesn't have the best switch into this. Um. Z fly might kill. I actually don't know if Z fly kills from this range, but there's still the risk of Spritzy just hitting that protect and wasting the Z fly. So that really sucks as well, because then Spritzy just beats his one on one or beats the Wingle one on one. So um, if Mianfu could have knocked there, it would have been nice. So he just decided to go to Tatuga to try to get off the knock on Spritzy. Dundee should not let him knock the Spritzy and should just go out into Ferrocede maybe, or uh, Mianfu. Yeah, Ferrocede or Mianfu are the plays here. Just to not let him knock the Spritzy, because that's just pretty pretty big on play. Now, if Kingler wants to predict that, he just gets up his Stealth Cock. Or he just knocks off the Ferris Seed if he wants that. He can also double out into something. I guess. Kingler is down to 10 seconds from what I see. Yeah, he, this man is actually down to 10 seconds. Insane. So, Ferris Seed does come out as... Kingler does double. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Kingler... See, this is... This is... this. I know this all too well. Sometimes when you're in the back in the game, you just activate Ultra Instinct and you get every single play right. This man just gets every play right. Roost up. Immaculate. Immaculate Roost. Knows... Knows the Pawnier is going to be coming in. Roost up. Very God play right there. Now you're just tacked up if you have that to scout what this Pawnier wants to do. Because I think it is Scarf. Uh, the Roost comes out again from the Wingle. On the knockoff, so it's not scarf. Um, as the knockoff does a shit ton. <laughs> now you roost up again. Um, I don't know why he roosted and just died, but <laughs> or I don't know what that play was. I don't know why he didn't want to get chipped. I guess he predicted the sucker punch. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, never mind. Uh, I don't know why I'm thinking this punter is locked in. It definitely isn't. So yeah, he was predicting the sucker punch gets roosted upon. Now the high jump kick comes out into the wingle. There's a shit load. Very juice activates, unfortunately. Now Kingler's obvious place to go to Tuga, but he predicts the. Uh, he predicts Dundee to make a double predicting Tortuga. Still gets a play right though, gets in his Bunnelby, which either he is Scarf or he's bluffing Scarf, but Scarf would make the most sense on his team. Now he just gets a fire off for a turn and claim a kill. Uh, at least I think, I don't know, I'm trying to hover over the partner, but obviously I can't. I don't know if it already got chipped this game. I don't think it did, because Kingler got outplayed with the Wingle against Ponyard. So Kingler tries to predict the switch out into, starts to predict the switch out into Ponyard and gets kecked on by Dundee just staying with his Wingle. So now he has to go to Tuka, which isn't even that bad for him. Because it, although it does take a shitload, uh, we know this is not Z move, so it's not Z water going to be coming in. Scald is the correct play as um, what? <laughs> uh, all right, this is LC rolls at its finest. <laughs> all right, Mega Untier confirmed. What was that, dude? I was like, he can eat up an attack and either kill the Wingle or get up a rock. But that's a nice roll right there. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that was a that was like a min roll into max roll, but I don't know what that was. Yeah, that's that's something. That's the one in sixteen rolls that Green Grace talking about as well. For the people who don't know how rolls work, uh, it's basically like 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 every every hit almost is the same, but then there's like sometimes there's like one 
one out of 16 chance that it's like a shit roll that does zero damage or like like less damage obviously not uh, not actual zero and there's like a one in 16 chance that it does way more damage just like one or two or three hp more and that's like the lc roll system uh, obviously it's not that simple it's like some more some more things but that's but like the basic concept and uh, why lc rolls are considered hacks now kingler just loses <laughs> dude this might even be become a 6-0 beat down this yeah, that roll really sucked, but I think that he couldn't even pull this game back. He activated Ultra Instinct at the end. Would have been better if he uh, was gonna, if he actually outplayed with the Wingle. He outplayed the Ponyard, but he could. Now he goes Hard Bundle, but he's going to take a shit ton from Moonblast. Now he's pretty just going to go for that free... Um, I was going to say go for a free Protect, but... I don't know if you want to risk this Bundle B bluffing Scarf and setting up like a, like a Bulk Up or some shit like that. Um, so I don't know if you want to Protect here, actually. I think he, I think stacking him on might be the better play. I'm actually not sure about that because this this person can still take on Mianfu, and you don't want this bundle be going for like some Z setup or whatever and just nuking Dundee's entire team. Like Dundee doesn't want that, so he might just want to go for the attack here or switch out. Um, yeah, because yeah, if you protect, you give him. I guess if you switch out, you give the bundle be the free setup anyway. If he was just bluffing Scarf all game. So, talking about bluffing Scarf, it could definitely not be Scarf, but Scarf would make the most sense. The return just comes out, yeah, that confirms it's Scarf. Because if you if you are a setup bundle, you go for that right there. Scarf would make the most sense, but it could definitely be some like setup shit. Um, but yeah, the the Wingo was Z move already, so it wasn't some Z setup shit. I don't know what I'm saying, but it could have definitely been some form of that setup. But I don't even think some setup would have won here, because Spritzy still has it to buy, like I still tank a hit, so Protect was always the play, yeah. Um, <laughs> nice deal, miss narrating. Ah, classic, dude. Imagine being on the famous Doc Rich channel, and you are the one being picked to narrate LC games. You can't even do that. Mm. Couldn't be me. Oh, wait. It actually could. So, Return just claims a kill here to prevent the 6-0. Kingler saving some dignity. If Dundee's really goats him here, he just goes Ponyard just to preserve the 6-0. Or at least have a, have a try to preserve the 6-0. Um, now that Mianfu comes out, it's just going to get knocked with the cock. Now, um, Kingler's, uh, man, Bunny here might actually get some kills, because, uh, obviously Ponyard snacks some hits, but, um, yeah, Bunny plus Mianfu is looking like a dangerous core. Now this just comes out, can just fake out on the Bunny. If you're Kingler, you just, uh, go Mianfu here, I guess. Uh, actually, that doesn't do damage. I guess you can just stay in if, if this kills. Uh, I don't know if this kills. I, I actually probably does, because it doesn't have a Violet, right? It makes sense. Bunny is super strong. So, now the... Ponyard comes back in. <laughs> it looks like Bunny can still do it, but I don't think he can. Because there's this Mega Pawn right here. Which can just come in an Iron Head here. Weaken the Mianfu. Actually, damn, this actually still might actually still be doable. If Mianfu snacked these up for breakfast, which, yeah, he kind of does actually. Hmm. He does snack these up for breakfast. I don't know if he could still do it. No, never mind. He just gets outsped and dies. Alright, so he's not he's not even fast. Um, How did he know? Like, obviously, he. Like, I would, I would assume Dundee's calc that, right? Like, he knew this wasn't fast. Because if that was fast, he just died right there and lost to Bunny. So, unless he's, like, Scarf. It wouldn't make sense for this to be Scarf. No, I was going to say it wouldn't make sense for it to be Scarf Diglett. But it was already revealed Barry Juice. Wingo, so it's Z-Move Diglett. Um, interesting game, definitely. This was kind of a beatdown, to be honest. It's a 4-0, but, yeah, it was, like, a 6-0 until the last few turns came around and Bunny actually got some kills. But, yeah, this was a smackdown. The roll sucked, but I don't think that mattered too much because Dunnies was just beating Kingler down with his team. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed watching this game. It was a pretty nice game. <laughs> nice. Deserved loss for Kingler for bringing Pump Kabo. Like, who even brings this piece of shit, Mon, dude? So, the screen fades to black because, uh, yeah, it fades to black like the night sky. All right, whatever. Have a good day.